Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to World War 2 every day with army sizes. I don't know how they've managed to do this video because this must have taken absolute, absolutely ages to be honest. But yeah, we're seeing here already. So this is obviously Germany against like Ukraine at this point. But I guess at this point it would have been like the Soviet Union. 1,800 soldiers against 2,500. So this is how it, be, it will be, I guess. So, so I guess when the UK joins, it will show... It will show sort of battling against each other or france when obviously nazi germany took control and then i guess when like the us joined in japan and yeah we're going to sort of see it slowly advance like that but we're going to jump into this hopefully going to enjoy or find this interesting links are also in the description to my patreon where you can see reactions that i can't post on youtube onto youtube movie reactions tv series oh my god i can't talk tv series reactions um yeah links are there for those interested i'm just going to jump into this Oh, okay. This morning. Okay, there's time lapse here, so I want to. Not time, time lapse. There's. Where's the least. Well, I'm going to make my camera smaller. Here. There we go. For now, it's good. Hopefully, I remember when it. Because the map's going to change when it comes to the US. But there's information here, and there's information here, and I feel like that's. If you're watching this reaction, it'd be important to see that. The British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government. I said Ukraine, I meant Poland, for God's sake, my geography, man. I claim to be good at geography as well. But already, they've just destroyed them. A final note, stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now, that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Soviet Germany. Union? Okay. It's not enough time to read, man. Oh. That Sweden getting it? Or was it Norway? I don't know which one. Oh, France now. Fighting France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. So yeah, I mean France getting hit from two angles at this point. You can see how they fell pretty quick. But it's so fascinating to me, obviously, Switzerland is the most neutral country in history, right? Or not in history, but in recent history anyway. So they're just not getting hit at any way, at any point in time. Because they're just like, you know what? You, the whole world can do what they want. We're just going to sit here peacefully and just, yeah, that's pretty much it. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields. So now they're coming for Britain. Which obviously it was a lot harder, right? Because it's an island. If I guess if Britain was connected to Europe by land, it would have been completely different, right? But the fact that it's an island helped it so much more. And in the streets, we shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island or a large part of it was subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas armed and guarded by the British postpones the invasion would carry on the struggle wait the Italian army pushed into Egypt what until in God's good time the new world with all its power and might steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old
Yeah, they're all joining. I mean, at this point in time, it was looking pretty rough. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many. Did Italy win any wars during this, or any battles in this war? They just seem to have tried to take control of places and just ended up not really being able to do, it, do so. Greece, Egypt, it didn't really look great for them. To so few. All our hearts go out to the fighter pilots, whose brilliant actions we see with our own eyes day after day. I hope, indeed I pray, that we shall not be found unworthy of our victory. If after toil and tribulation it is granted to okay. for the right. rest, we have to gain the victory. That is our job. Okay, yeah, it was looking very bad. <laughs> At this point, it's just the Soviet Union and Britain. And they're not really allies. They're allies during this war, but they're not really allies in the grand scheme of things. And I guess you've got Egypt here and certain parts of Greece still and Cyprus, but... Now they're moving to the Middle East. The rock capitulates. Is this the comeback? They were really pushing them back far. I know they pushed them far, but we were, what, 1941 at this point, near 1942. And Europe at this point is just all occupied by Nazi Germany. It's crazy to think that, like what one nation could do to an entire continent at this point. And I mean, Britain must have been shitting themselves at this point in time, seeing the USSR, this happening to them. Pushing back. I mean, you look at the sizes of the armies. Yesterday, Christmas, no. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Is not going to show the map of the US and Japan. It's not. It should have said should should have said World War Two from Europe's perspective then, because it's not showing the whole world. I guess it wasn't troops fighting in those continents, maybe. Ugh. Although they were, because there was battles.
can't even read it because the flipping writing's over each other. So I mean, Nazi the German army is falling at this point. But they're still standing pretty tall. I mean, they're still keeping everyone in their place. I mean, yeah, they're surrounded in North Africa. They are absolutely surrounded from both sides. Italy. The Italy's are getting taken. Is it Sicily? Is it Sicily or not? Yep, Sicily. So yeah, Italy now wants peace. <laughs> fair enough, you've done all that and now you realise you're going to lose so instantly you switch. I mean, fair enough. Mussolini saved. Wait, what was that? British. The UK economy has fully mobilised as 22 million British men and women are working for a war effort. Flipping hell, man. That is brutal. Bombing in Berlin. Soviet Union are clawing it back, big time. I mean, look at the difference in the sizes of the armies. God damn. This is all whilst people are being killed, yet the, the armies are increasing. Crazy. Soldiers? Sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. Right, Normandy the now. hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world.
Yeah, they're done now. Also fascinating, why weren't Spain like so nothing really happened in Spain or Portugal. Was it just, were they just neutral at this point as well? Was uh, were they just not involved at all? I mean, I wonder what happened there. Did it say four hundred thousand people trapped? God damn! Wait, Hitler. What does it say? Hitler orders all remaining males aged 16 to 60 to immediately enter military service. Even at this point, you know you're done for and you're still like, yeah, let's just put more people's lives on the line. Crazy, man. Sixteen, man. Sixteen? Are you crazy? Like, Hitler, you're done at this point. What are you trying to do? Such a so dumb to me. There we go. And then the Cold War started. <laughs> uh, I do wish it showed the whole world, but I guess, I don't, for whatever reason, it didn't. What's amazing is the amount of soldiers that they had right up until the end. Now, country struggled to muster armies a fraction of that size. Yeah, and this is in a time where the global population was so much smaller as well. I can't believe I said Ukraine at the start. I meant Poland. <laughs> so silly, man. The Operation Bar Barbarossa section gave, gives me chills every time. The music, the gigantic numbers, hundreds upon thousands. Hundreds upon hundreds of thousands encircled. 8% of men born in the USSR in 1922 would be dead. Yeah, bro, that's crazy to me. When I've seen videos before of the numbers of deaths, like this video here, the fall of World War II in Russia, or the USSR, whatever you want to call it. It's fucking crazy. It's absolutely insane. But this is a little look into this. And yeah, fascinating video to be fair. And I mean, let me know your thoughts. Until next time, peace.